Hello viewers, welcome to my case chemistry classes. This channel continuously uploading videos related to the competitive examinations like PGTRB, CSR, NET, SET, GET, etc. This video here we discussed the quantum chemistry approximation method in which the perturbation method is discussed. Here we have discussed the two questions from TRB page 2019 in the perturbation method along with some other practice questions also discussed at the end of the explanation. Let us move into the video part. So what is the approximation method in quantum chemistry? Quantum chemistry la Schrodinger wave equation used for exact solutions in the case 1 at the hydrogen like system hydrogen ion like system simply it is a single electron system hydrogen atom electron in only box rigid rotator simple harmonic oscillator is a married good system the Schrodinger equations on the or the exact solutions are good in your case of the term with a multi electron system more than one electron Schrodinger wave equation exact solutions are simple system that is one single electron is simple system Schrodinger wave equation correct and energy and the complex system this is the rigid rotator in the complex system single electron is complex system Schrodinger wave equation exact solution in the case, we use approximation method. Approximation method is the known methods. One variation theorem is the perturbation theorem. Variation theorem is the condition we use. The multi electron system is the condition we use. Perturbation theorem is the condition we use. The perturbation theorem is the condition we use. The complex system single electron complex system. So main difference. Variation theorem other details in the previous videos on the abroad panel. In the video, perturbation theorem constant control. Multi electron system and the system today wave function on the number not known. In the case, we have a wave function known, Hamiltonian known. So, in variation theory, trial wave function we have to create and we have to energy contribute and the energy and the exact values to relate. In the case, we known Hamiltonian in the case, we not known wave function to trial wave function fix. In the case, we have to do or petrol pondo. Petrol means nothing. It is disturbance. Disturbance means by applying electrical potential, stark effect, or by applying the magnetic potential, Seaman effect. In the more case, like the applied pondo, that and the system enna pondo, that the energy level are there. If there is that energy level, higher than energy level, so that enna that just that that the energy under that that kind of increase are So in the in the disturbance level, go goodia. And the energy, energy we have to do the real exact energy level. So it is called perturbation method and it is variation method. So variation methods already we have discussed. Here only the perturbation theorem. Clear? So summary we have to do the single electron system, the symbol system, the Schrodinger wave equation apply to complex system to apply to the because it does not give exact solutions in energy calculation of the single electron system. So for multi-electron system, approximation method used and complex system, approximation method used. Important approximation method is the one variation theorem and one is a perturbation theorem. Approximation method is the perturbation is used, the variation is used. Perturbation is the single electron with complex system like rigid rotator etc. Variation there on the more than two electrons circumbo, Hamiltonians on the interaction together separate panamodia. 
ஷாடிங்கர் வேவி கிருஷ்ணர் இருக்கக்கூடிய பேசிக் இக்குவேஷன் இது தான் ஹேமல்டோனியன் இந்த ஷாய் இன்று யூ இன்று ஷாய் இதை செப்பரேட் பண்ணுறதுக்காக ஒரு ட்ரையல் வேவ் ஃபங்க்ஷனை கண்டுபிடிச்சு அதில் இருந்து அதை எக்ஸாக்ட் எனர்ஜியோட ரிலேட் பண்ணுறோம் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் சிஸ்டம் அதாவது சிங்கிள் எலக்ட்ரான் சிஸ்டத்தில் காம்ப்ளெக்ஸாக இருக்கக்கூடியதில் நமக்கு வேவ் ஃபங்க்ஷன் தெரியும் So, by applying the different energy level, so that the energy difference takes place. So, that is the correction that we have to do. So, the correction is the same as the other thing. That is the same as the other thing. The exact energy level is the same as the other thing. The other thing is the same as the other thing. So, first order correction, second order connection, that is the perturbation theory. Okay? So, now the perturbation theory. So, in perturbation method, for a single electron system for a complex system by perturbation method we can solve the exact energy solutions by introducing perturbation in the system new hamiltonian is created ipo or system consider pandrom or system la vande or chinna disturbance nama vande perturbation vande kudukumbodu enna agudhu and hamiltonian new hamiltonian is created agudhu and the new hamiltonian eppadi irukudhu adude real hamiltonian kuda chinna changes form aagi varudhu so this is called the correction so this is the correction and uh, this is the unperturbed system it is a real system and it is a new value so this is a new hamiltonian created similarly the energy changes also e does is equal to real energy plus the change in the energy level and also in the wave function changes is equal to real wave function plus change in the psi value so it is a perturbed part okay the disturbed part this, this correction is calculated by means of this so this lambda here the lambda is depends upon the by means of ex, um, external potential uh, it may be uh, electrical energy or the magnetic effect okay there are uh, two types of correction the one is the first order correction and the second order correction in first order correction it is given by say order first order correction is equal to the integration of psi with n energy level delta h that is a perturbed in the hamiltonian into the real energy level dou tau so dou tau it is dx into dy into dz divided by psi n star into psi n for a normalized wave function this psi star and psi is equal to what so it can be neglected in case okay so this is called first order correction so it means it is first order and it's a n is the energy levels that is the energy level in which we are doing correction in this it is the energy level it may be one two or three in which the energy energy is going to correct so n is the energy levels for which we are doing correction and one more thing the second order correction in second order correction del e and this is the energy level second order is equal to total summation of this energy level that is psi star m delta h m integration it is by square divided by energy of n minus energy of m so what is m and what is n m is the energy level we are going to calculate the value n and m is the other energy level in transition for example when n is equal to 1 so it may be written as e1 second order correction this is equal to total summation of so psi m the m may be other trans level 2 or 3 or 4 etc so it is the second one del h and first one okay square divided by energy of the first level minus energy of the second level suppose the del e is in the second energy level second order correction you can write like this that is so other transition it may be 3 or 1 etc so del h
e2 minus e3 okay so here the summation is given the transition may be in the second third fourth level you can write like this that is e del e first first energy level is equal to one the second order correction you can write it may be in the transition in the second third etc so if it is second psi 2 del h psi 1 square divided by e1 minus e2 sum is mean we have to plus all the things plus the third energy level goes so psi 3 del h psi 1 square divided by e1 minus e3 so okay so for the competitive level it is uh, it is enough to find out the various calculations so first order question second order question so the summary session is the perturbation method is used to calculate the energy levels of single electron system for it is complex by introducing perturbation new hamilton is created here the new correction is developed first order correction and the second order correction let us see some problems and, and, and so you get clear idea about the perturbation method. Next question, the perturbation method can be applied if a system is reversible, the system differs slightly from the unperturbed energy wave function and Hamiltonian of the unperturbed system is known. The correct statement is R. Is the PGTRB 2009 in the catacostic? So direct uh, theoretical part. Uh, perturbation method on the F apply control. Right? So until we have discussed energy wave function and Hamiltonian of the unperturbed system is no. So C is correct. Variation method level number trial wave function bundle other than the number wave function theory multi electron system. Level. So C is correct. And this, the system differs slightly from the unperturbed real and the system on the number of home. So, B is correct. The system is reversible. It is not a condition to solve the system by perturbation method. So, the correct statement is B and C. Your answer is D. So, very simple basic level questions in the perturbation method. Next one. The second one this is also TRBPG 2019. For the time independent non degenerate perturbed system, the expression for the first order correction in energy is given there. So, in the questions from the, the free mark, so you know, first order correction, second order correction, so the option is so, the correct option. So, it is on the second order correction. Second order correction is on the I must slide down the manual discussion that is del E for the energy level N second order correction is equal to the integration of uh, psi m del h m square divided by E of n that is the lower energy level minus higher energy level if the it is the NSA energy level calculation and it's a higher energy level. So this is correct. Okay. So in this case, here it is given um, integration part, but the square is mixed. So here the square format is missed and the energy is this lower energy level to higher energy level. But the negative sign is given. So it is EM minus EM. The, only the square is missed. So, your answer is C. So, the question and the answer, I think it is in the uh, some mistakes. Next one is certain two level system has stationary state energies psi E1 and E2. E1 is less than E2. So, E2 has a greater energy level. With normalized wave function pi 1 and pi 2 respectively, in the presence of perturbation B, the second order correction to the energy for the first state pi 1. So what you have discussed for the second order correction is the second order correction that is is equal to so here instead of this psi value here it is given pi 1 and pi 2 and the delta h value the perturbation is given as b 
So you can write for this level is the second order correction for the first energy state is So in this question, the options the square is missing in the A and B. So answer A and uh, option A and B is not the answer. And here the square also given in the denominator. So D is not the answer. So directly the answer is C. But here the psi 1 into the petrol part psi 2 square is given. Whether it is correct or wrong. The denominator part it is E1 minus E2 is correct. But the here the is in the form of modulus form. So the in case of modulus, so it has both plus or minus, it will be the same value. So for modulus value, so that it is reverse. So this answer is correct. But in the integrated with the, the modulus is not given, you have to write in the form of psi 2 v into psi. So the answer is same. Okay, viewers. So we have here discussed the perturbation method for in the competitive level. I hope that it is enough to solve the all type of questions asked in the perturbation method. And I hope that it is useful to you. Thank you for watching.